Welcome back to the Asian Oceanic Beach Ultimate Championships here in Shirahama, Wakayama, Japan. Brought to you by WFDF and Bula. I am Liam Grant, joined by Sophia Pereira in round five here in the men's division. We have the beers from Japan taking on the Singapore national team. And uh, you got a little chance to chat to these guys before the game started there? I just had a chance to speak to number 45, Matsu, from, uh, from the Beers. So they're actually a grandmaster team. And the other team is the men's team from Singapore. So this should be interesting to see how, well. And as a quick break for a Singapore, getting the early goal and the advantage. Yeah, it's gonna be maybe tricky for the Beers, a little older, a little more age, but more experience. The at home. At home. I actually met one of them having a beer last night, so true to their name. They were having a beer, that's good. <coughs> yeah, but we saw the Singapore women in the first game of the day with a great win over Australia, so let's see what the men can do. If they're as quick as the women, the beers are gonna have a hard time sticking to them on defense. It's incredibly fast offense from the Singapore women this morning. Let's see how these guys play. They look very fit and very young. Yeah, a very athletic team. Uh, we've seen the Philippines do well in, in big championships here, and I think Singapore maybe start following suit with them, focusing on Beach Ultimate and hopefully taking home some medals at this tournament and maybe the next few years at big beach, beach events. Interesting you should say that they actually have a little bit of a similar style of play. They're very quick, short, fast, open. So here we go with a 15 meter brick line. They're actually... Yeah, I know, with the disc, sends a deep shot straight away. This one's gonna trail and just can't get there. They're gonna need to hit those deep shots. We've been seeing that a lot today, that that, that particular pass just goes over the offense's head and it's very difficult to get to. Yeah. Deep shots going from right to left, downwind, have been difficult. As we see the Japanese men playing his own here, kind of a 1-3-1. One, one. Trying to save their legs a little bit. But now oh, we see the give, nice go. give and go. Yeah. And that was very pretty, almost. Nice adjustment on defense by, uh, by, um, by the beers. But they didn't manage to shut them down. Very quick, these guys, and they seem to be quite grooved as a team. Yeah, low with the goal there. Nice big cross field pass to open up the field. Yeah, I saw the Japanese man. I think that's a good idea playing that zone, possibly on the on the turnover, that transition zone defense. I think maybe this honest match defense would be difficult for them, but yep. Actually, we discussed a little bit yesterday uh, how interesting these, these divisions are that they've opened it up to club teams as well as national teams. So this is m one example of a club team playing a national team. And I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot of that this weekend. It'll be interesting to see how that goes because the club team has the advantage that they play together all the time. On the other hand, the national team has a selection of the best players. That said, this is not an example in the sense that it goes across from a men's to a grandmaster men's. So kudos to Beers for being here. Oh. Another stray pass, and it could be a chance for Singapore to get three in a row. They waste no time, but that pass does not connect. So a second attempt here for Beers. Well, let's see if the Beers can score this and bring it up to a 2-1. So you often ask me which is my favorite team. My favorite team is the team that's losing. <laughs> well, and you definitely like teams I play for. But uh, <laughs> Japanese beers here in their own end zone. Breaking the mark. Well, I think that's going to be a strategy for them. Use their technical throws to get people open. As you see, oh, oh big cross field pass. E with the disc. Nice zip to the middle of the end zone. Nice grab, nice throw. And I, I, I have a feeling that this is going to be very tough on the beers because the Sing Singapore is just shutting them down on defense. They're very, very quick on their feet. And they position themselves in such a way that 
The beers have a hard time getting open. Yes, yeah, Samuel E. Bulleted one to the back of the end zone there. We were discussing earlier, we saw also in the women's Singapore team, some of the players had shirtless, um, sleeveless t-shirts. And here you can see the differences in cultures, whereas the, s the, the beers, they're mostly all with tights or some kind of socks or s some kind of, and, and gloves, m a lot of them. I think the big winner of 2019 so far has been the transition back to kind of shorter cut shorts, the short shorts, as we see most of the Singapore men going for the shorter short, while the uh, Grandmaster is still sticking with the long basketball-esque shorts. But I'm, I'm in favor of the short shorts. Especially in the women's division, I'm sure. I actually like the short shorts as well. I like the new VC short shorts. I got a pair in Portugal. I know I'm not allowed to say Portugal. <laughs> <laughs> They're great. Can with the disc. Nice. Look at that. Big pivot out. All by himself. I'm uh, not sure. I think mm. he caught this before jumping mm. there. Let's have to center it back now. Parked outside the end zone. Good defense here from the Japanese men. But eventually that space in the middle yet again is where they find the gap. Another goal for Singapore. This is going by pretty fast for four up. It is going four by up. pretty fast, four up. But it's nice to see that Singapore is maintaining their intensity and maintaining their level of play even though they are, well now four up, we're three up. And doing patient cross the field swing throws instead of trying to score quickly. This might be a team we might see later on in the in the semis. Very, so Singapore very true. might be, and both the women and the men. Yeah, who knows? Might be coming home with a medal in one of these divisions. They are quite tall, actually, the Singapore they men. They are, and the women too. I was surprised for Asian women; they're quite tall. I saw their heights on the fantastic uh, app that Tom made available for us, and they're 168, 170. That's pretty tall for Asian. Yeah, shout out to Tom Styles. Does a lot of great work for the commentary crew at all WFDF events. Great layout there. From Looks Sato. like the beers are waking up. They're doing great. Yeah, it's been their best passionate play so far. And a tight shot. Oh, and it's exactly what Singapore ordered. Another big defensive play. So yes, the, the app that you were, you were speaking about, it is fantastic. Unfortunately, we've been just having to do back-to-back -back games. We don't have a chance to uh, study it before, but we're definitely gonna be using that throughout the whole week. Victor Tan free in the end zone now, but. Nice centering of the disc. Very quick movement between the players. Nice needle throw. There's it looks so easy, doesn't it, Liam? Yeah, they're just keeping those swings going against the zone. And there's and there it Victor is. Tan with the bookends. Got that big play in the end zone to get the D and goes right down to the other end zone to get the goal. Big plays from him. So is the, I wonder if this is the second game that these teams have today or if one of the teams already had a game earlier. Because sometimes that makes a difference too with how much energy you come in depending on how the game before went. Yeah, I think both these teams have played already right, one game today, I believe. Most teams have two games per day, two games today. There's uh, 11 teams in the men's division. There are 12 teams in the men's 12. division, I believe. Okay. Six national teams and six club teams. I thought there was 11 now. I we'll, have to, we'll have to do some Check. research there. I think there. it's 12. Maybe I counted wrong. I thought it was 12, 23, and 6. We'll see. It might be a beer on this one as well. 23 mixed, 6 women's, and I thought 12, and I might be wrong. It might be 11. <laughs> I might be wrong as well. I'm not, I'm not that confident in this one just yet. <laughs> and we'll never know. Okay, we will never, ever know. Yes, we will know. <laughs> So the beers have a chance here. Oh, again, bit of a miscommunication there. 
as they struggle to get on the scoreboard. And oh. Oh, and they get a chance again. That's a lucky. Yeah, the Yang Tan can just maybe losing concentration for a brief moment, gives the disc back to the Beers with Yano with the disc. Be curious to see what the average age of these two teams are. I was talking to Matsu from the Beers, and he's 46. I mean, that's a big difference. Some of these guys from Singapore look really young and really fit. So kudos to them. Yeah, especially in that quick transition. Very quick. Offense does not give the Japanese men a chance to set up their zone defense. So that is 6-0. I don't know if they have uh, bagels in Japan, but we might be seeing one pretty soon. I actually saw bagel shops in Osaka. I hadn't had a bagel in a long time. I heard I heard something about a curry donut. Oh boy, that's actually probably good. I heard they're very good. It's probably good. I believe one Australian man bought one by accident. Thought it was a regular donut, but he said it was very enjoyable nonetheless. I had quite an experience at breakfast this morning. I was all happy to find a little corner with pancakes. So I made myself a pancake and I took the thing, which I assumed to be syrup, by the pancakes and poured it on and then I took a big slice of it, put it on my fork, in my mouth, and it was soy sauce. Classic, <laughs> <was not> classic. <laughs> I was not expecting salty pancakes. The old soy sauce pancakes, a favorite here in Japan. And here Big we go. Let's go beers. Big shout out to JFDA, the Japanese Flying Disc Association, who have been fantastic so far at this tournament. Uh, the famous Moro doing a lot of great work, been head of that association for the last 28 years, but it's Singapore who are making the big plays in this game. Again, I'm impressed by Singapore's maintenance of intensity and precision in a game in which they are now up 7-0. That's the way to get into the semis, to not lose that rhythm and to maintain your level of play. Now let's cheer for the beers and let's get them to score. That would be great. So yeah, the food here is fantastic, Liam. I, have you been enjoying? Yeah, I've had some great foods. I particularly like our food at the hotel, quite a large buffet. What the, I had a green tea ice cream for breakfast this morning, which was intense. I thought it was pistachio. It looked like pistachio ice cream and I tried it and you're right, it was intense, but I liked it. It was like eating ice cream while drinking a cup of tea, which <laughs> is bizarre, I think. Creamy. It, wa it wasn't for tea. me, not gonna lie. It wasn't, wasn't, it wasn't my for style. You. It wasn't for your style. It definitely tastes like green tea. Well, I've eaten, we've eaten some amazing food. We had an amazing dinner last night as well, thank, thanks to Moro and the, and the Japanese Flying Disc Association. Not only the food, but the company. We had a magical night. Here we go again. And here we see J Lo on the field. The Filipino player has been playing a long time. You see, he actually has kind of pepperoni marks all over his body as he got a, a cupping treatment, I believe. I like yeah. pretending he went yeah. paintballing uh, before the tournament, but that is not true. Doing a lot of coaching for all these teams. It's quite the muscular. Like ourselves. Oh, definitely. There's the quick give go. Especially. Oh, but this is a, such a beautiful beach to host this type of tournament. It's the perfect place. Yeah, beautiful little town. Great atmosphere here already. And Shirahama's done also a great job in hosting us. I, we were both really impressed when we first got here a couple of days ago in the streets. Every single lamppost has a banner with the tournament details on it. He actually had took a picture of the two of us on that. And it's, it's just great to see the whole town getting involved and welcoming the Frisbee players. Co close to, I think it's around 700 athletes here for this event. Got to do my shout outs here. WFDF supporting and promoting the global advancement of this sports and spirit of the game. VC outfitting the world's best ultimate player since 1998. Disc craft, the world leader in disc sports. Friction gloves, be prepared for rain, humidity, cold, wind, and more. 
Universe Point cleats specifically designed for the great sport of Ultimate. Greatest, the number one bag designed by and for Ultimate players. Bula, the Beach Ultimate Lovers Association, spreading the love of Beach Ultimate globally. Uh, early recognition is criti critical, Eric, who are spreading the awareness of the symptoms and signs of cancer. I worked with Eric um, a couple of years ago in London, and it's a fantastic cause, and especially the importance in, in youth recognition of cancer and using spirit of the game to teach kids not to be afraid to talk about symptoms that kids, especially teenagers, are extremely embarrassed to talk about. It's really important. He go there up. with an incredible catch, with, and then with a lefty high release backhand. Unfortunately, a turnover, but nice passage of play from the beers. And it's important to celebrate all your successes, and that definitely was a nice movement by the Bears. Beers. D Lim. Two tall players in Singapore combining. Tech. It's also nice Low. to see the Beers continuing to try and, and play hard D as best they can. Yeah. In a that scoreboard sometimes does wonky things, doesn't it? It is now 9-0. This is true. So how much time has uh, gone by, Liam? I believe we're 16 minutes into the game. So pretty good point per minute return here from the Singapore team. Yeah, we've been, well, I've been back to back to back You've anyway. Been back to back to back to back. This, this is, is the fourth one, I think, right? I've streamed in a row. So I might get a little break at this one. I might be buying the Singapore lads a beer for... <laughs> Give me some time, uh, extra time off. Well, I'm going to be cheering for the Beers to score a couple of points. I want them to score. I, I definitely want them to score. Really nice guys. Chatted a few of them in the pub last night. Uh, all the Japanese people here have been very welcoming. I like that standing pull there from Singapore. Getting some nice yeah, hang time. Pretty impressive, actually. Oh, come on. And the big face looks off. There's maybe an opportunity to score here. Singapore get Central. back to defend. And then a nice inside shot off. Oh. Nice low pivoting, trying to get free, but everyone well guarded in the end zone. And there's the leading pass. Oh, can he get there? Oh, yes. This point is still alive. For Beers, can they get it in? Everyone's hoping for them to score. Oh, and the turnover comes. They were so close. How unfortunate. Singapore relentless in their give-go offense. Showcasing their athleticism. Oh, oh and a oh fall oh. there. Looks like he had it. We've seen a few people trip up with the sand. Yeah, I wonder if this Perth sand does some tricks on you and just starts to grow little bumps at the... Little Perth pebbles. Yeah, maybe we have to go run some... See how we do. I still haven't thrown a disc or ran since I've arrived. Okay, so that we must do. When we have a chance after and between... We'll see how we get on. I definitely want to hop in the beautiful ocean here in Shirahama. Perfect temperature ocean. It's around probably low 20s. It's the perfect temperature for this climate. And the wind has died down a little bit, I think. Okay, so the beers get another chance. Yeah, I think try they try and break. Oh, try and break through the relentless defense. Didn't happen. Again, the Japanese playing a zone defense, but Singapore know how to give go very well. It makes it very difficult to stop them. Doing well so far to contain Singapore, but there's the jump in, and they take the tally to 10. Yeah, and the Beers are doing a great job forcing the, the amount of throws before the score, but these guys have the disc skills to do it, and they're managing to do it quite well. So it's now 10-0. And 
we will have how many more games yet today? I believe after this we have Guam mixed versus China um, yeah. at 440 p.m. local time and then last game of the day will be Singapore mixed versus uh, Korea boom at 550 so we're getting all, all three Singapore teams. Fantastic we get to see all national teams today that's really nice and I have a feeling we'll be seeing them again Liam let's see if the beers can get a score in oh nice nice cut oh go 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 mm. Hashi with the deep shot a little too far but perhaps a little rambunctious I think perhaps a little bit of a grass throw maybe as well this team probably plays more on grass than they do on beach tends to be the case in Japan I do know Nomadic Triber here in, in the men's division, played at WCC last year, probably one of the favorites. Certainly coming out of Japan, probably one of the strongest teams, clubs there. Possibly some of these older Japanese players might have played buzz bullets back in the day. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised actually. But kudos to the Japanese ultimate com community to get so many teams here this weekend. Not only national teams, but also club teams. And there's students here actually just learning for the, the week, which is great. Um, again, A lot of patience from Singapore. Yeah, in fairness to Beers, the defensive strategy I think is a good one, but Singapore just have great patience. Yeah, fantastic patience. The tick attack. And there we go. And that's 11. 11 0, two points away from the win. Can Japan get on the board? In the showcase game, we saw the Japanese national team uh, bagel, I believe, New Zealand, one of the New Zealand teams. So now we're seeing a bit of a shoes on the other foot here. Yeah, again, we, we bring it up the clubs versus the national teams. Um, again, it was the Japanese national team against a New Zealand club team. Am I correct? I don't think it was a national team. It was just an exhibition game. And yes, the national teams do get to pick the prime top players and we have uh, three of the Singapore players throwing a disc in front of us and I think probably half the average age of the uh, the beers at least yeah I think you're right there the Sun now beating down on us in the commentary booth sneaking its way in here Liam's gonna be a little less white after this week I have a feeling yeah, Freckle Fest 2019 is in full effect now. Read things kicking off here. I'm fine. I'm fine. Many Japanese women think freckles are sexy. I think all women and men think freckles are sexy. They should be. Okay, so they get the 50 meter brick, which is to their advantage. Yeah, Higo with the disc, left handed player. Wearing tights and under armor, so he's definitely not too warm. Oh, and the disc went up. There was a bit of confusion there. Unfortunately, yeah. A little bit of bad luck. Yeah, uh, there's a actually a theory that if you stay clothed, you actually stay cooler. Interesting theory. <laughs> because you don't get the sun directly on your skin. This is true. I wonder what scientific research we've done. We have to investigate further. But I'm definitely protecting your skin. Oh. oh. That one's just a bit lucky for Singapore. It's now oh. game point to them. This is it. 12-0. 12-0, game to 13. Good thing we switched this game on and didn't have that other one. 
Too much Australian. It's got to get more Singapore. Well. Come on, beers. I'm, yeah. I'm cheering for beers now. Kudos, kudos, oh. Now? Now. You've been I cheering for I them the whole time. Well, I in many ways, you might think I'd be cheering for Singapore to finish this so I can go swim in the sea. But I want beers to score one point, get them on the board. They seem like nice guys. Definitely had some beers last night. Yes, Staying they did. true to their they name. They definitely did. And, and kudos to them for keeping their heads up with this score and for keeping to trying to do a great deal or as, as best as they can do to deal with these young, fast Singapore boys. Let's see what they can do here now. Half the score. This is the last chance, Liam. A lot of pressure for Singapore. They are not letting up. A nice swing caught with a layout. And he's on the ground. Sato. And there's a man who's not too far off his age. Uh, J Lo now wears the number of his age. He's 43 years old right now. Changes his number every year to his age. I talked about what if he has his birthday during a tournament, and he hadn't thought about that just yet. I guess he just won't go to the tournament. I was saying he should have, have to change maybe mid tournament, change his number, roster himself twice. But Japan throws straight in the hands of Singapore. They can win this here. And this might be it. Yeah, they're Some nice quick passes. I love that give go flick. Kind of a harder one to master. And they are moments away from victory in Singapore. Take this. It is bagels for lunch here in Japan. Fair play to the beers. They fought valiantly. I liked what they did, but unfortunately not able to get a score. Singapore looking like a top team. So, yeah, not the score we like, but on the other hand, we get a little time off now. This is true. We'll leave it there, folks. Tune in just a short time. We'll have some more great ultimate for you. I've been Liam Grant. Sophia. And we will see you later.